Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, trail name Lookout. And today is, uh, I'm going to be trying to put some miles on the clock. I'm not confident that I'll get all 27, but maybe I'll get 20. And then tomorrow, Nero into Lake City. And uh, it is exhausting. I've been going since 5 a.m. And uh, it's very slow going. The hills are super steep. There's a lot of snow, so much snow to cross and none of it froze last night because it was raining. And so because of that, I'm just trudging up to my knees in freezing cold, freezing cold snow. And I am, uh, and my, sh my feet are absolutely, absolutely frigid. So enough standing around, let's get the toes moving, start walking again. God. I can hardly breathe. I don't know if I should be videoing this first thing in the morning, but I've just come around the corner and I've seen this fawn. And it's, uh, I don't know what's happened to it. It's just laying in the path. When I came across it, it looked like it was dead because the eyes were closed and it was hardly breathing. I've sat with it for a few minutes and stroked its head and it's opened its eyes, but it's not moving and uh, I don't know. If it's been attacked and I've scared off the lion or whatever it is that's attacked it by walking and talking to myself or it's fallen down the hill and hurt a limb I've got no idea but there's nothing I can do and it breaks my heart because I can't help and that's all I want to do is help good news ladies and gentlemen she's up She's on her legs. I hope she's okay because she was just laying there. Come on, sweetheart, you can do it. This valley is so beautiful. I can't stop taking photos of it. Every time I round a corner, I'm like, I want a new picture, even though it's the same valley. It's absolutely beautiful here. Not to complain too much, but I'm currently doing a hill that is almost a thousand feet per mile and this is the track that they give us. Muddy, rocky, very steep, completely washed out it's, and uh, 
you're also two feet below the side, so no good. Here we go. A high point, 13,271 feet. The Colorado Trail. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's some very, very dodgy snow here. Uh, very steep. Let's see if I can get down it. It's going to be challenging. All right, so I got into the snow. I was able to run all the way down because the snow was slushy. I'm glad I'm down, but I've got some extremely wet feet. So, lunchtime. I am having a late lunch because I was up on top of all those ridges and uh, cliff tops, 13,000, 12,000 feet up, and uh, I was surrounded by storms and I wanted to get below tree line so that should I need to, should it start raining on me, I can seek protection and uh, not get struck by lightning or at least minimize the chances. So a little bit late, about an hour and a half too late. but. Uh, Better late than never. Well, I made it the 27.6 miles I needed to. Uh, it's four o'clock. The post office closes in half an hour. It's 23 miles away. And I've been standing on the side of the road for a few minutes and there hasn't been a single car. I'm hoping that I can get a ride in the next five minutes because then I might be able to make the uh, make the post office and collect my box of food. So I managed to get a hitch from a trail angel called Dave who, who's doing rides all up and down the trail this year and uh, he's been doing it for a while. He did the Colorado Trail in I think 04. And he's been doing a lot of trail angel work over the years since then. I arrived in town at the Raven's Rest Hostel, which is the only hostel in town. It charges $40 a night. There's uh, no Wi-Fi and the showers don't contain any toiletries. So uh, that's going to be fun. But I'm going to stay there in the night. I'm going to get a shower. I'm going to charge my devices and I'm going to get a good night's rest. And then tomorrow morning I'm going to go and get my box from the post office and then I'm going to have breakfast and I'm going to leave town. Not necessarily that order, maybe I'll put breakfast first. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the update for you. I was let into this hostel but it's actually closed for the for the time being and uh, the guys just let me stay anyway. He says it's okay, I can stay. So I've managed to have a shower, I'm going to cook some food, the uh, Sun has come out, it's lovely, so yeah, it's a good day so far. Um, bit of a surprise after all of that um, sort of awfulness that I had to go through, but yeah, I'm settled in and uh, all, all good. So I've got some onion and minced garlic on the go, and spaghetti with pinto beans, all found in the hiker box. So that's the finished concoction. I uh, added it all together and added some of my olive oil and some Italian seasoning I found on the shelf. And uh, looks delicious. It's about three times what I usually eat. I can't wait. <laughs>